Hello ladies and gents, welcome back to a new video. Today we've got another watch. We're looking at a Citizen. This is the first Citizen that I've bought. It is a, an EcoDrive Titanium, as you can see there. Um, I'm not quite sure the model number, however that will be in the description. Uh, once again, this is my monthly watch purchase. We're into September now. So, yeah, I hope you enjoy the review and the unboxing. So let's get straight into there. So you've got this nice outer cardboard box there. This is an EcoDrive logo on the top. Another logo there, this sort of globe icon goes all the way around. Then there's just some information there. Uh, please recycle well. I'll be keeping this anyway. So let's get into it then. So straight away here we have instructions on how the eco drive works. Hopefully that'll focus. So how's it gonna focus? So yeah, there you can see there it's essentially it's solar powered. So you never have to change the battery, you um, simply wear it, you know, it's not unlike the solar powered Seiko that I reviewed in the last video so that's all good because it means no maintenance or anything like that so here we are, this is the uh, inner box oh, nearly fell off there, let's put that to one side in there you can just see the receipt for the watch itself I paid uh, £169 for this watch, it, is, it was a discount retails around 229 uh, mainly I think for the titanium band that's on there so you've got your Citizen getting started. Uh, also, you know, register. I haven't registered it yet, but uh, I will do. So sort all that out, and then yeah, sort of manual and guarantee. So general instructions and that. Nice to see uh, a, a nice sort of compact manual when compared to the the legendary million-page manual that we have in the Casios. So. Here's the actual box itself, once again, it says uh, made with recyclable paper, well I won't be recycling, I'll be keeping it of course, so let's get into it. And here's the timepiece itself, As you can see there it's a two hand eco drive, it says there titanium, uh, it has a date function here, and it is on, of course on a titanium band, so if we whip it out you can see that there's some spare links there. I actually have three links taken out because I've got very skinny wrists. So I'll take it off this uh, off the packaging before it squeezes it to death. And here it is, guys. So looking at it there, you've got the titanium logo, the Made in Japan logo there. Nice Citizen Eco Drive. It is a 38 mm uh, size, so quite a slim size. That's what I normally wear. I tend to wear, um, you know, for at least 40 mil. Uh, however, actually, if you look at it on, I'll just put it on for you guys here. You can actually see that it, it fits. It actually doesn't look too bad on my on my small wrists there. Really nice band design. It is a push deployment. Uh, it was a cop a cop between this and the Seiko Titanium. Very very similar. Similar bands, very similar type of, of watch. However, the Seiko wasn't push deployment; it was uh, sort of a normal clasp. Really, I didn't I didn't like it too much. So I'm not knocking the Seiko; they're great watches. Um, personally, though, I preferred this. It's very very light. This watch, you, you know, something like if you, I wish um, I don't have it here with me, but if I was comparing it to say my like Aqua Racer, which is solid, you know, stainless steel, very very hefty very heavy to um, to sort of wear this it's almost like air it's like wearing you know a G-Shock or um, or something like that so it's you know really strong as well of course titanium is reportedly 40% um, stronger than steel we'll see about that uh, I've managed to not scratch it so far which is good because I unfortunately scratched the Seiko that I reviewed in the last video uh, which is my fault for going on nights out wearing a decent watch. So, I believe it is luminous as well. I don't think I'll be able to show you. No. What I'll do is I'll confirm that and I'll put that in the description of the video, guys. Um, like I say, I really enjoy it. This won't be my first, uh, my apologies, it is my first citizen, it won't be my last. Um, I'm aiming towards one of the Pro Masters or the Navi Hawks, the real big. Uh, big posh citizens. Uh, did I call it a Citroen then? 
maybe. Who knows? My apologies for that. I would say I edit it out, but I don't edit these. I talk and then I upload because that's as, as good as it's going to get. So nice little citizen uh, clasp there. There's no printing on the on there other than well, actually there is. Uh, I can't read that. I'm just going to read what it says, guys. Um, it just says titanium band made in China, and then of course the back plate, which is very difficult to see because you can't get rid of the band. You've got the the logo there as well. It is water resistant. Um, not that I ever go swimming in these type of watches or anything like that. But yeah, it's just really really nice. I really sort of enjoy wearing it. I've, I've been wearing it a few days now, and I already it's one of my favourites. It's just a sort of a throw-on watch, yeah, it still has that really high quality feel, it's particularly with the titanium, um, really, really nice. And yeah, that's about it, guys, so uh, thanks for watching anyway, thanks to everyone who's watched so far. We're at 20,000 views now, which is absolutely insane, uh, considering all I do is talk about watches, uh, or various other things, but thanks to everyone who's watched, thanks to everyone who's subscribed and comments, it's all brilliant. Uh, we've got more stuff coming your way, more watches, definitely I've got a big, big video planned um, with the state of the collection. I'm, I'm up to 21 now, so we're going to have a huge video planned for that. Uh, I've got more gaming videos and, uh, and other stuff. So let us know in the comments if you want, what you want to see, what you don't want to see. If you dislike it, if you're sick of hearing me talking, then please let me know. And uh, that's about it guys, thanks for watching and I'll see you again soon.